Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video we are going to see two problems based on polarization concept. Okay, if you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get video notifications from my channel. Right, so we have already seen the uh, theoretical concepts of all the three types of polarization. Okay, in my previous four videos. Right, so if you have not seen, I am giving the link in the description, right, playlist link in the description. So from that playlist, please see all the four uh, videos which I have made on polarization. Okay, so then you will understand these concepts clearly. Then you can solve these problems easily. Okay, right. So see the first question. So he has given directly the uh, electric field only. So uh, this will be the x component and this will be the y component so i am writing ex is equal to 4 into e power minus 0.25 z cos of omega t minus 0.8 z similarly ey is equal to 3 into e power minus 0.25 z cos of sorry z into sin of omega t minus 0.8 z so in order to find uh, uh, polarization, so what we consider is simple plane which is z is equal to 0. So consider z is equal to 0 in the above two equations. So when you consider z is equal to 0, so this becomes 1, e power 0, so it will be 1. So 4 into cos of omega t. Similarly what will be ey? ey is 3 into sin of omega t. So ex by 4 is cos omega t ey by 3 is sin omega t so if you take ex by 4 whole square plus ey by 4 3 whole square so on the right hand side you will get cos square omega t plus sin square omega t so it will be 1 so what is this it represents an ellipse so the polarization is elliptical polarization elliptical polarization okay so this is how we can find whether the given polarization is of linear or circular or elliptical okay so in elliptical again uh, whether it is left or right so there is a positive sign between those two when there is positive sign between those two so it represents an left elliptical polarization to be very precise it represents left elliptical polarization so if you have a negative sign in between it represents right elliptical polarization okay so this is how we can find the polarization right come to the question B so here he has given magnetic field right so first of all magnetic field has to be converted into electrical field because if we if you want to uh, comment on polarization we can comment by using only electric field because polarization is orientation of electric field okay so we have to find this so wave is traveling along z direction this is obviously so when wave is traveling along z direction so what is uh, the formula for intrinsic impedance it is ex by hy so it is minus ey by hx okay so ex is equal to eta into hy so what is this is hy minus 2 h naught is hy so in the given problem hx is h naught into e power minus j beta z and hy is minus 2 h naught into e power minus j beta z so ex is eta into hy okay so eta into what is hy minus 2 h naught into e power minus j beta z so it will be minus 2 eta h naught into e power minus j beta z similarly what is ey ey is minus eta into hx ey is minus eta into hx yes or no so minus eta into hx is h naught 
okay so h naught into e power minus j beta z so this is e y so therefore e bar now becomes e x a x cap so e x is minus 2 eta h naught e power minus j beta z a x cap okay so next minus eta into h naught e power minus j beta z a y cap okay so when z is equal to 0 so if you take uh, the plane as z is equal to 0 simple plane then what will be e x e x is minus 2 eta h naught and e y is minus eta h naught okay so e x is not equal to e y e x is not equal to e y so it may be either linear polarization or elliptical polarization so when e x is not equal to e y then there are two cases one it may be either linear polarization or it may be elliptical polarization in case of uh, circular polarization e x must be equal to e y magnitudes must also be equal okay since magnitudes are not equal then it will be linear so for elliptical again the ang angle must be pi by 2 angle must be pi by 2 so if it is any other angle if any other angle if you got then it will be linear polarization keep that in mind okay so if magnitudes are not equal then there is chance of either linear or elliptical polarization and for elliptical polarization the phase difference must be equal to odd multiple of pi by 2 okay so if we get any other angle then it will be linear polarization so what is the angle between them theta is equal to tan inverse of e y by e x e y by e x so it will be tan inverse of uh, minus eta h naught by minus 2 eta h naught so it will be tan inverse of 1 by 2 so it is not equal to pi by 2 so it is an linearly polarization so linearly polarized wave or linearly polarization okay so the given wave is linearly polarized wave because angle is not equal to pi by 2 so it is again an angle a different angle okay let it be any angle so you'll get the same angle throughout okay so next we'll see the second question okay so in this question has directly given you the uh, electric field intensity only okay so let us uh, divide this into two parts one is x component so x component is e naught multiplied with e power minus j beta z into a x cap minus e naught into j into e power minus j beta z into a y cap so j can be written as e power minus j pi by 2 so this will be cos pi by 2 plus j sin pi by 2 so cos pi by 2 is 0 plus j into sin pi by 2 is 1 so it will be j only so j can be replaced with e power j pi by 2 so here so i am replacing now es is equal to e naught into e power minus j beta z a x cap minus e naught into e power j pi by 2 e power minus j beta z into a y cap so es is equal to e naught into e power minus j beta z a x cap minus e naught into e power j pi by 2 minus beta z into a y cap okay so for the polarization we will consider only real part so real part of uh, es of z comma t is e naught into so what is the real part of e power minus j beta z cos beta z okay into a x cap minus e naught into so real part of this is cos of pi by 2 minus beta z a y cap so cos of pi by 2 minus beta z is so now es is e naught cos of beta z a x cap minus e naught into so cos pi by 2 minus theta is sin theta 
so it will be sine beta z a y cap so this is x component and this is y component so e x is equal to e naught cos beta z e y is equal to minus e naught sine beta z okay so e x square plus e y square e x square plus e y square so towards the lhs side so on the right hand side what will become so it will be e naught square into cos square beta z plus sine square beta z so cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1 so it will be e x square plus e y square is equal to e naught square so this is the ellipse sorry this is the uh, locus of circle so hence the polarization is circular polarization circular polarization okay so this is how we can proceed in order to find the polarization okay so whatever may be the given equation so you have to check whether the given equation is in electric field intensity form or not so if it is in electric field intensity you have to consider three conditions one if the magnitudes are equal so here magnitudes are equal okay so ma when magnitudes are equal then it may be either linear polarization or circular polarization and if there is a phase shift of 90 degrees cos beta z here and sin beta z here that is there is a phase shift of 90 degrees right so when there is a phase shift of 90 degrees it is again circular polarization okay so when magnitudes are not equal and the phase is 90 degrees then it is elliptical polarization okay 